Hello, Basscat Boat fans. This is Justin Dicer coming to you from Taylor South Shore Marina here in Wilmington, Ohio. Today, I'm going to take you on a quick walk around of a brand new boat for Basscat in 2018. This is the new Pantera Classic. Uh, the design around the Pantera Classic was to basically generate a boat that's 19 and a half foot long, has a very wide 90 inch beam that's carried all the way to the front of the boat to give you adequate room on the front deck only being 90 inches wide, um, but also allow it to fit in most uh, garages today. People are really kind of leaning toward buying fishing boats that they can fit comfortably into their uh, standard garages at their houses and this boat with a swing tongue that comes standard on trailer will actually fit into about 21 feet 10 inches of storage space so your standard 22 foot garages you can get this 19 and a half foot boat in which is very rare most other brands you have to go to their 18 foot models to get inside of a garage of that size uh, another thing that Bascat wanted to achieve was to hit a certain price point um, everyone knows the Bascat boat brand they know their premium style boats uh, premium makes that really nobody makes them as well as Basscat does when it comes to the build and the attention to detail. Um, but obviously 19 and 20 foot boats can easily reach 50, 60, 70, $80,000 today in the market, you know, with the 250s and power poles and graphics and everything that, you know, people are putting on them. Uh, so the Pantera Classic right here uh, with the Mercury Pro XS line, at least this one here has a 150 on it. This boat right here with the 150 will start out right at 38, 335. Uh, that's base price uh, and, and standard equipment isn't bad. Honestly, coming with two Hummingbird Helix 7 sonar units, one would be at the console, one up on at the bow. That's gonna have the Fortrex uh, Minn Kota 80 pound thrust trolling motor standard. Uh, this is not the standard trailer for this boat. This is the upgraded trailer I did on this boat. Uh, standard trailer is a three inch uh, C channel trailer with 14 inch aluminum wheels. Uh, this is the four inch standard Bass Cat trailer that they uh, make for their boats. Um, I wanted to beef up the trailer. I just know a lot of my customers drive good distances. Uh, living here in Ohio, people travel to you know Michigan and Lake Erie and then they go to Kentucky and Tennessee, down to Alabama, all different destinations. Fishing's not the uh, overly best here in Ohio so a lot of our people travel so I didn't want to skimp at all on the trailer uh, so this is the standard four inch Bascat trailer with the fiberglass fender and then the 15 inch rogue wheels uh, also being Bascat of course it's torsioned axle it's going to have the vault hub system again C channeled surge disc brakes it's got the pivot tongue up here which you will see I had the grab post and step added to this boat just a really nice feature to get you up in the boat comfortably, not hurting your knees at all. That's the upgraded fold and XLT jack. Um, there's an XP that they make standard. Spare tire obviously comes standard. This boat is also kind of unique. Basscat, obviously you've always been able to do your own color schemes with them. They do require with the Pantera Classic that the top cap that you see here is white. Everything else is free game. To make anything you want this one right here is a combination of malibu silver on the side with the silver mist bolt and trimmed out in forest green you also notice this fish hook design that they have coming down uh, pretty unique pretty cool looking right there on top of that white cap we'll hop up in this guy and take a look from bow stern so here's a shot of that front deck I know 90 inches, a lot of you are probably like, man, that's gotta be a narrow boat, but you see how far forward they take that 90 inches. It's really a wide deck. Also something to notice what they're starting to do is that you can get to your storage hatches without moving your rods. So if you look over here, you'll see the extra trim right there, basically no compartment on either side of it uh, that, you can, that you can then lay your rods there. When you get into your boxes, you don't have to move your rods or move them to the other side of the boat. Everyone that fishes tournaments or fishes enough know that's annoying to keep having to move your rods just to get tackle or another rod out. So here up front, you have the standard uh, recessed trolling motor foot pedal here, bass cast style, all the way to the front nose of the boat. This is a Hummingbird Helix 7 down imaging. I upgraded to the down imaging uh, instead of the standard sonar. You have the, uh, that's a six inch balls out mount right there. You're just gonna hold that graph in place, not let it move at all. 
Minn Kota Fortrex 80 pound thrust is standard on this boat. Coming back here, bungees, you can get two bungees. You can get the Velcro, whatever you would like really. Um, I just went with the standard one bungee on this one. Here's the first lid. This could be storage, this could be a rod locker. Uh, anything you really want to do, it does not have uh, tubes in it or any kind of rod holders. Uh, the actual main rod locker is this middle uh, latch that right here that I'll show you. But just like standard Bass Cat boats, finished compartment lid here on the inside, gas lifted. It's got built up fiberglass with the weather strip top. Make sure all your equipment stays dry. And you got your, uh, that's your anchor light just hanging out there. That's the side compartment. Here's the middle. Middle compartment right here, very deep. You'll notice right there you have re your uh, uh, holes right there for your rod tips to go in. Internal tubes, there's going to be 11 full right there. They come back to this side right here where the butts can sit right inside there. You do have plenty of room down there at the bottom though to put extra storage, tackle, life jackets, anything that you want to put down there, clothes. Plenty of room down there to fit. Over here on the starboard side, your first lid right here, gas lifted, nice storage compartment area there for tackle if you wanted to or any kind of accessories again. And then the one here behind it is a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. Another good size compartment for anything that you might be bringing with you. Shot of the console. This is obviously a single console model here. Step down is your first cooler and this guy. It doesn't look overly big, but honestly it goes way back in there. So decent sized cooler right there for your drinks, sandwiches, anything you might be bringing with you. Shot of the console here. Upgraded this Hummingbird to Helix 9 SI here at the console of this model. You have the standard mercury gauges, so you have your TAC and your PSI gauge here on the left. Right side, you're going to have fuel and trim. Tilt steering wheels and an option to this boat. You have your TH Marine hot foot down here. That's also an option. We added the blinker trim here to the side for the engine. It has a manual jack plate, so only one blinker trim. And then there's your digital touchpad here, your horn, lights, navigation anchor, accessory switch, which we have lighted uh, live wells in this boat, your bilge pump, manual, automatic, and then you have your manual three minute, five minute aerator and recirculator switch right there. Looking at the seats, we went with the step box here and storage box here in the middle. You can do a third seat if you'd like. You'll have storage underneath both your seats right there. And then you will also have your glove box which will come back here, lifts up, and then you have a second cooler right there as well here in the middle because your 30 gallon gas tank is located toward the back of the boat, which I'll show you here in a minute. Live wells right here, divided, very deep. It's uh, traditional for bass cat, very deep, very narrow. Fish like to stack up on top of each other when they're stressed. That's why they go so deep and so narrow in their live wells. They have been proven to be one of the best, if not the best, live well system in the industry. A lot of people rave about them, never lose fish. So, Storage here behind both the driver and passenger seat, very big, finished, huge compartments, tons of room for your co-angler. One thing people usually say about Bass Cat and a lot of their 20 footers is that their co-angler storage is not obviously the friendliest, but this uh, Pantera Classic has adequate space. Shot of the Mercury. There's the standard uh, Slide Master 8 inch jack plate. And then here's the back lid, which is also completely removable. You can slide this whole thing right out of the boat if you ever need to get back here to a pump or anything like that, just to make it easier on yourself. Oil reservoir for the Mercury, cranking battery, deep cycle batteries will sit right there. There's the aluminum 30, ga uh, 30 gallon gas tank. And then you can see your breaker switch right there, but then your pumps and everything sit just right down there you can get to change out a cartridge if you need to gas fills right there on the port side that's just a quick overview of the brand new 2018 bass cat pantera classic please give us a phone call here at taylor south shore marine wilmington ohio if you guys have any questions about this boat or any bass cats at all we'd be happy to help you and we'll see you out on the water